Stand up for me. Tell me your name and what would you like to say, mate? So, my name's Ryan. I do a lot of cross-community event or programmes with youth clubs and I want to be a youth worker myself. Uh, but mine isn't really telling you about the Peace Walls, just I've got a question for you about the Peace Walls. You've got what? A question for you about the Peace Walls. Yep. So, I personally think if they take them down, take them down. If they don't, they don't. It is what it is. But the users think it is too big of a tourist attraction. The one down at Larnick Way specifically, Larnick Way Slash Falls, do you think it's too big of a tourist attraction to take down? No. Um, I think that's a really smart point. That is a really, really smart point. I don't think it is, because I think if you look at something like the Berlin Wall, when people decided that they really wanted to come together and build a different future together, Part of the symbolism of that was removing the wall, but it didn't remove the mark. The mark is still there. If you go to where the Berlin Wall was, there are still markers to show where that wall was. You, but what you see when you go there now is not division, it's progress. And I think that's much more saleable. Actually, can I say one thing? When I was Lord Mayor in Belfast, one of the best things I ever did was the re-imaging scheme up in the Shankill Road. There were 14 murals on Shankill Estate and the Shankill Road that were re-imaged at that time. And the girls who used to do the tours, when they used to come up in the taxi tours, they used to do the tours of all the paramilitary murals up there and tell people about the history of them and why they were there. And at the end of it, they put plaques up with photographs of what used to be there on the new murals. And it was the girls who did the tours who asked for those to be taken okay. down because they didn't want their kids right, to see let me hear more from him. what used to be there well, in do, the background. Do, do you think they should come down? Me, personally, I wouldn't really say I think they should come down, but... There is a lot of cross-community happening at the minute, as you have already said. Does, or do, does orange and green mean much to you? Nothing, nothing at all. It's never meant anything to me. I was brought up with everybody's the same. You bleed the same way, you die the same, you go to the same place when you die. So. OK, and when you watch politicians and political debates on telly, do you see a lot of orange and green there. So do you think there is a big generation gap? Do you think things are going to change when, when your age group you know, oh, really gets power? Oh, definitely, definitely. So the way, it, uh, the way I see it now is... It's the older generation, the ones that grew up through the troubles and all. Obviously, you can't even blame them it's because that was a big factor of Northern Ireland. So that is something massive that's happened. But our generation hasn't really experienced anything like that. So we're just growing up on sort of a backlash of what we hear. We're not actually... Are you old enough to vote? Oh, I'm 19. OK. But Steve, right. Stephen, I've been in politics for 43 years. And I've watched, obviously, very closely the voting trends in South Down. There isn't the slightest suggestion that young people in my constituency are changing their orange and green viewpoint. Oh, the amount of people that. crossing across in terms of their preference... That time might come, Jim. It might, but 43 years is a long time. People, 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 people might actually start voting in this country well, on education and well, health not doing it and South how down. their grannies they're and grandmothers are going to get treated rather than orange and green. That's a real indictment. That, that's, Jim, that's a real indictment of yourself because you're basically saying the people who vote for you only vote beca because you're orange and that it's not because sure. you're any good at health or education. You were a health well, minister. Well, well, You'd hope that your policy on health might have influenced well, the way it is. Naomi, on the other side, it still isn't transient. There is no evidence whatsoever of people crossing. And you would start would to you see encourage the trans people not to vote orange and green but would, vote for I policy. I would encourage them to vote for DUP. No, that's not my so, question. And then transfer to other unionists. So my, my question is, would you vote? Would no, you encourage them no, not to vote for orange and given, green? Given the views of these ladies other side, for instance, on social issues, I'd say, no, don't transfer to them. I wouldn't support that whatsoever. What do you mean, social issues? Social issues such as abortion and gay marriage. I would say to people, but, do not support these parties. This, see, this is why we are so politically immature. Exactly. I mean, you look across yeah. the water, you look to America, they are dealing with left and right politics like everywhere else in the world. Yeah. And you look at Northern Ireland, and we seem to be stuck in this time loop of orange and green politics. And there's no progress being made because of that. Yeah.